Good evening, my name is Ishika and I'm running to be General Secretary of Fields. Ever since my early teenage years, I've been enthralled by environmental law, by its power, its impact, and importance. Therefore, I'd like to continue sharing this passion I have to other students, with the goals and ideas I have for Eels next academic year. Personally, I think awareness is key. Awareness about current policies, laws, knowing about the opportunities within this field and the impact you can create, being aware of the issues surrounding the environment and constantly tying it back to the legal world, and how crucial a green economy is not only for the future, but now. This would not only encourage, student, uh, encourage students to venture out into this field, but it would also show how rewarding such a job can be. Now moving on to some ideas I have for next year. Firstly, at the beginning of the year, I would hope to hold an introductory session explaining what environmental law is all about, the career opportunities available, and ask members if they have any ideas that we could possibly cater for. One thing I'd, like, I'd love to organize is guided nature walks in the Leedwoods Forest and go to the community's organic farm to do some planting. This would enable people to really connect with the environment on a personal level to see how beautiful and fragile nature is and how important it is to protect it. Equally as important would be career events and guest speakers, since, it, since these provide students with more clarity and assurance about their future environmental law. I propose an environmental law firm fair with firms and companies such as Incline Earth, Burgess Salmon, Multiverse Fulbright, Hassan Grant, and maybe some environmental NGOs. Additionally, through liaison with a few of them, I would ask them to hold presentation evenings. An environmental talk from Ian Redmond, who came to Bristol last year to give an emotional talk in coaching, would be really useful as well. He's an environmentalist who works for an Ape Alliance and specializes in policies on coaching. Such a topic is essential for the legal side for the cons conservation of animals and will really inspire members. In order to help members gain specific skills that are linked to this field, I would like to hold conference-style discussions and debates on current environmental affairs, where people can voice their opinions and propose any policies or laws they would implement if they had the opportunity to do so. This would improve public speaking skills and increase knowledge specific to this area of law. Finally, I'd like to continue the great work of the exec last year by bringing in Brendan Morehouse from Guildhall Chambers again. I went to this talk myself, and it was extremely helpful in expanding my knowledge about how to be a successful environmental lawyer. And of course, documentary nights. I would create a poll to see which, one mem which ones members would be most interested, interested in to watch, and I would base the categories on the most important topics so that they could all be covered. This would include our diet, its impact, plastic, and cl climate change. And after each viewing, I'd like to take a few minutes discussing what people thought about the documentary. Finally, uh, moving on to my experiences. So uh, last year and the year before that, I volunteered with an environmental, an environmental NGO in Delhi. Um, I assisted in, in, in constructing a butterfly park by designing greenhouses, planting trees, and giving educational tours around the park to school children. Um, just before applying to university, I completed an online MOOC course in environmental law. This really gave me an insight about, into about what environmental law is actually about. And this will allow me to um, spread my knowledge as well to students. Um, I have been recently elected as a social secretary for UPLC. I'm currently the JCR rep for my accommodation and I have helped them plan various events. So this means I would be efficient in planning events and making sure that they're useful and catered and, uh, and making sure that they're catered for all students. And um, so yeah, thank you so much for listening um, and thank you to the creators of such an amazing society. I promise I will do any, everything I can to make you proud.